Hi, everyone from Motion VFX. In this lesson, we will learn how to use various types of bins to manage your media and create automatic workflow inside the media pool. In the media page, I will open the media storage to get access to all my media on my drive. To be able to use any media inside DaVinci Resolve, we will have to add them to the media pool. By default, there is a master pin where you can drag and drop any footage, picture or music. As soon as they are inside the master bin, you will be able to use them in all the various pages, like the edit page. One important thing is that there is no copy of the media. It will create only links to the original files from the disk. Back in the media page, I will remove them and show you that you can create your own bin by right-clicking and select New Bin. There is also a short key, Shift plus Command plus N. All the bin you will add will be placed inside the master bin. I will name it Video, as I would like to regroup all the video files in the same place. I will select all the clips and drag them inside the video bin. If you or your assistant already classified your media in various folders like music, pictures, video, you don't have to redo it. I will remove my video bin from the media pool and I will drag the media folder to the master bin. As you can see, DaVinci Resolve keeps the complete hierarchy of the folder and converts them to bins. So I've got all the media, the music, the pictures and the video at the right place. But if you need later to add new music elements or pictures, you will have to copy manually to the right folder. There is a way to ask DaVinci Resolve to add the various elements in the right bins automatically, and it is possible with the smart bins. To create a smart bin, you have to go to the File menu and select Smart Bin. It will open a pop-up window. In this case, I would like to have a bin with all my 4K footage. So I will name the bin 4K Video. Below, we will create some rules to define which content should be inside this bin. By default, we can see all the media I've already added to the media pool, as there is no rule apply yet. The rules are based on the metadata of the clip. So you can have hundreds of possibilities to select the right elements inside the smart bin. In this case, I only want Ultra HD videos. So I will select Media Pool Properties, then I will choose the resolution parameter. As you can see, all the clips disappear below. In fact, I need to tell DaVinci Resolve which resolution I need. So I will enter 3840 by 2160. As soon as there are elements matching with these rules, elements will appear below. You can ask DaVinci Resolve to use this smart bin inside all the projects, if needed, and I will click on the Create button. On the left side of the media pool, you can see that there is a new area dedicated to the smart bins, and inside we can see our 4K video bin. So it means that I can import new clips to the media pool, like this one. I will drag it to the master bin. I will check the resolution in the metadata panel. And if we look inside the 4K video smart bin, it will appear inside automatically. Let's create a new smart bin. As we've seen before, there is no shortcuts for it, so I will create one to be faster. Inside the DaVinci Resolve menu, I will select the keyboard customization and I will type Smart inside the search field. I will click on the keystroke column and press the three keys Option plus Command plus N to keep it similar to the regular bin shortcut. I will click on Save and close it. So now I can add a new smart bin by pressing Option plus Command plus N. This time I would like to regroup all the audio files. So I will select the clip type and choose audio. I will click on create and we have all the audio files available. This is a very simple example. I would like to go further and display only the music from the artist Jane. By right clicking, it is possible to edit the smart bin and what is really nice is the fact that you can add rules. On the right of the window, I will click on the plus icon and I will create a second line of rules. For this one, I know that the name of the artist will be on the name of the file. So I will select file name and select all the clips that will contain the word chain. So I will rename the name of the bin. As you can see, there are unlimited possibilities to sort automatically all your content inside the media pool with the smart bins. If you don't need smart bins, you can hide them by going to the view menu and select smart bins. And you can call them back at any time by clicking again on it. 
Inside the view menu, you can see that you can show power bins. Let's click on it and see what we can do with them. Power bins are very useful when you need recurrent content on all your projects. It could be your opening intro, your logo, music, sound library, or like here, compositing elements. Motion VFX provides many compositing packs, and I like to always get access to some of them for my various projects, like light clicks or light streaks. So I will drag my compositing elements folder to the Power of Master bin. So I will get access to all these clips for this project, but also for all the other projects. To show you this, I will switch to another project, the live concert. And we can see that inside the PowerBin section, I've got access to all the light leaks and light streaks. I won't have to create the link over and over. Also, I will use this project to show you some smart bins in action. Here, I didn't import any footage inside the media pool. So I've got multiple shots and angles from three cameras from a live performance. I will select all the clips and drag them to the master bin. Before, I've already created some smart folder to sort the footage by camera and the music. And without any action from me, all the footage are automatically placed in the right folders. One last tip concerning the smart bins. If you go to the Preferences in the DaVinci Resolve menu, select the User tab, then the Editing category. Inside, you will find the automatic smart pins. It will display multiple smart pins already configured by Blackmagic. The first one will regroup all the timelines from a project, and the other will display footage based on the metadata from the keywords, the people, the shots, and the scene. I will activate them all and click on Save. Inside the media pool, I've got new smart bins. The first one will regroup the timelines from the project. Keywords will display clips which have some keywords attached to them. Like here, the keyword C. To add keywords to a clip, you just have to open the metadata panel, select a clip, and in the shot and scene panel, we can see keywords. On the other clips, I've already added C as keyword. So here, I will do the same for this clip and automatically the clip will be added to the C smart pin. It is the same workflow for the other smart pins. As you just seen, bin smart pins and power bins can simplify a lot your content management and automate your workflow so you will have more time on the artistic part like the edit or the color grading. More tutorials on DaVinci Resolve are available on the Motion VFX YouTube channel, so don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Ciao ciao. Bye bye.